Hi everyone, I'm Christian Karasevich, and on this DIY design tutorial from Easel, I'm going to teach you how to create a live video overlay for Ecamm Live. Now before we begin, be sure you click the subscribe button and hit that notification bell so that you get notified every time we publish a new video on the channel. Let's get started. So the importance of using a live video overlay in your broadcast on Ecamm Live is to increase the production value. There are various live video overlays that you can create, and each of these helps you during your broadcast, and it helps your viewers. For example, I want to make sure I have an intro graphic. If I decide to start my show early, I might want a countdown timer. If I'm going to be having myself on screen or a guest. I want to have a lower third for the left or the right. In addition, if I have various segments during my broadcast, I'll also want a title slide. Now, lastly, you want to make sure you thank your viewers as well. And a lot of times it's easy to tell them, go to my website or check out my social media channels. However, let's use a graphic to demonstrate all of this so that it's much easier for our viewers to understand where we want them to go. So let's head over to the Easel workspace. And what we're gonna do within that workspace is I'm gonna show you how to create these overlays. Now, the first thing you wanna make sure you do though, is you wanna make sure you know what size you're gonna be broadcasting at. And what I mean by this is, are you gonna be broadcasting in full HD, which is 1920 by 1080 or are you going to be broadcasting in 4k which means you'll have to create a larger graphic and that size is 3840 by 2160 now for the sake of this tutorial we're going to create a full hd live video overlay however keep in mind if you do create an hd overlay and you want to make it 4k you're going to have to increase that resolution because you can't take the smaller graphic and scale it up. If you do this, it will lose quality and it won't look as professional. So again, I'm in the easel workspace. So the first thing we want to do now that we know we're going to make a full HD live video overlay is click on create design. I'm going to now scroll down to the search box and type in live show overlay. Now what you'll find here are a number of existing overlay themes. Now these themes include all of the various overlays I talked about, the intro, the outro, the thank you, the lower third, and so forth. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna work with the live show overlay theme, the orange creamsicle diagonal. Now when I bring this up, what we're gonna do now is walk through each of these images and we're gonna customize them for our broadcast. Now keep in mind, if you do need to edit any of the text, you can simply double click on that text and make your edits. If you wanna edit any of the boxes or the bounding boxes, you can simply single click on an item and then adjust the bounding box. In this case, I need to shrink this text because it's obviously too large. Okay. So we have our text ready. Now let's say we want to change this image out. Now in this case, I'm just gonna delete this image because I'm gonna add my own. And this is located under the images section. Now keep in mind when you add an image, if you're gonna be adding an image that will also go over some text, you wanna make sure you remove the background. We have a great feature within Easel where you can upload an image and remove the background very easily. In this case, we're gonna use this image here because I've already removed the background. Okay, so now all we're gonna do is we're gonna simply drag this image into place to scale it. We're going to drag the bounding box and let's position it into the right position. Okay, looks good. Now keep in mind, if you ever need to crop the image, you can also double click on the image and 
you'll have a bounding box to be able to crop that image. In this case, we don't need to crop this one. Okay, so our intro slide is finished. Let's go to our countdown timer. Okay, so I'm going to customize this for my fictitious live show. Now, keep in mind, the text is overlapping one another, and I'm going to add some space by simply dragging that object up. Now, if I want to make sure I have both of these items centered, there are a couple ways I can do this. One is to click on one object, so single click, hold the shift key, and select the second object. Now, I can simply drag these elements within my graphic, and it will help me line them up. I think that looks good. Now, also, if you want to add all of the text elements together, another way you can do this is go to the Layers palette, locate, in this case, page number two, and select the text. And what this is going to do is it's going to select all of the text, and we can simply drag that around. Okay, so now we're not going to worry about adding the time because we will do that within Ecamm Live. Okay, so our countdown timer is finished. Now the third element we're gonna create is this lower third. Okay, the text here is a little too big, so we're gonna scale that one down. We're gonna reduce it. Okay, that looks great. So this checker word, by the way, is a transparent background. And the way this works is if I bring up this lower third, over top of my video, what's gonna happen is the video is gonna fill anything that is the checkerboard area and this graphic is gonna show up over top. Now I'll demonstrate this shortly within Ecamm Live. Okay, so let's say we have a session title about choosing the right gear for your live show. Okay, I'm going to add in myself. And in this case, for this segment, I have a co-host with me. Now we're going to go down to our right lower third. Again, you don't have to create all of these different live video overlays. However, keep in mind, if your show has various elements such as these, you'll want to make sure you have all of those overlays prepared. Now, another little tip here is if you ever need to locate your brand colors, for example, and you have the image under the images section, for example, this logo, I can simply add this to this particular page. And now if I actually select, say, the background, go to the color picker, I will see that I have the colors pulled from that image. So I'm going to go in and remove that because we're not going to use that logo. And now we're at the last screen, which is the thank you screen. Now what we want to do here is just make sure we make it very easy for our viewers to know how they can get in touch with us. By the way, make sure you verify you have the right social media channels and everything is spelled correctly as well before you export because it's much easier to do everything just once than to bring it into your broadcast and realize there might be some areas that need to be corrected. For example, let's say you don't use... Twitter and you want to use Instagram, we can go in here. We're going to actually delete this image and I'm going to go now over to the graphic section and I'm going to search for Instagram because I want to add an Instagram graphic. Let's say we go with, uh, let's try this one. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to scale it down. And then I'm going to simply just drag it and we're going to make a color adjustment. Okay, so now that we have all of our live video overlays created, the last step is to go and download them and bring them into Ecamm Live. So once we're finished, all we have to do now is click on the download button. Now, a couple of key points here. We wanna make sure we export these as a PNG or ping file. And the reason we wanna do this is because of the images that have transparency. For example, this lower third here, this lower third, and this graphic. 
So we're going to select PNG. We're going to go down and select all the pages we want. In this case, we're going to download all of them and we're going to hit download. Now what's going to happen is it's going to download all of this to our hard drive. Okay, so now let's go over to Ecamm Live and show you how these work. Okay, so here I am within the Ecamm Live application. Now, a couple of things I wanna make sure that I show you here. So we've made all of our overlay images and they're all here. And a couple of things I can do. So what I like to do personally is I like to make a new scene here at the top. In this case, I've made one already called overlays, but you simply click the plus button to add a new scene. And then you get the ability to add overlays. Now you can have all these overlays appear within every scene, or we can make them show just within the scene we're selected. So in this case, the overlays scene. And now these are what all of the graphics are gonna look like. I'm gonna bring up all of these and show you how they look. Okay, so this is our intro graphic that we made. Here's that countdown timer. Now, if we want to actually add the countdown timer in, what we want to do is go back into the overlays panel in Ecamm Live. Let me turn that off, by the way, so you see this. I want to go down here to this. I want to add this, which will add that timer. Make sure I've customized it. In this case, I'm not going to have a background. I'm going to hit add. As you can see, this is what it's going to look like. However, if I bring up the countdown timer graphic, I can now scale this. And as I go live, let's get this. There we go. So once I actually go live from Ecamm Live, this graphic will be what my audience will see. Okay, so there's our countdown timer. We're gonna turn that element off and we're gonna turn that one off. So we're back within Ecamm Live. Now, in this case, I'm showing my desktop right now. So I'm gonna click on the lower third. In this case, it appears over top of everything I'm doing. I'm gonna show you the right lower third. In this case, this would be with a guest. Here's what that topic slide might look like. If I have a two person, on the broadcast, I can bring that up as well. Again, it shows over top of everything that is in the background. For example, if these were two camera feeds, and then obviously there would be the thank you screen. As you can see, it's extremely easy to create live video overlays for Ecamm Live with help from Easel. Not only can you increase the production value and the overall quality of your live video broadcast, you can create live video overlays that don't just work for live video, but they can also be utilized for a webinar, an online training, a tutorial, and much more. If you have any questions, please leave those in the comments below. And if you create any live video overlays, we'd love to see them. Just tag us at Team Easel on your favorite social media platform. And remember, if you wanna get notified every time we publish a new DIY design tutorial, be sure you click the subscribe button and hit that notification bell. Thanks a lot for watching.